them. Robert Rock for another birdie, this time at 14 to tie the lead. Whoa. Rolling back the ears. He's only just inside the top 50 in the race to Dubai standings this year. Hasn't won for seven seasons when he collected the Abu Dhabi mm -hmm. HSBC Golf Championship back in 2012. Forrest has had trouble off the tee at the 15th hole. Robert Rock in the fairway. Mm. Super second shot. That's going to be a bogey at best for Grant Forrest here at the 15th. What about Robert Rock? Well, this is some performance from the Englishman. Three birdies in a row. He moves to 10 under and Robert Rock leads the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. The man who missed out, remember, 10 years ago to Shane Lowry at County Louth. Here's our leader, Robert Rock, on the tee at the par 3, 16th, 172 yards downhill. Go, go. Right there. Okay. Right there. Well, that's just fine. Robert Rock has had 11 threes so far. It's amazing. But can he get a two here on the 16th? He certainly can. And you know what was fascinating? Early this morning, he was giving a lesson to Matt Wallace. Not worrying about his own game at all. And he was out about 40 minutes ahead of Wallace. And here he is at the 17th, the par four. It's an amazing looking card he's got going. Yeah, he spoiled his run of threes, didn't he, with that nasty two at the last. <laughs> yeah. 11 threes on your card. Can he add another one here? A little bit of a long-range birdie attempt ahead for him, but he's got his eye in, clearly. So here is Robert Rock, second last green, looking to go even lower. And leading the way, oh, what a pot that is. Unbelievable! His 12th three of this third round. That's outrageous! <laughs> You know, his caddy was saying, uh, because he was obviously coaching Matt Wallace this morning, it doesn't matter, he'll, he'll hit a few wedges, he might hit a few seven irons, and uh, that'll be it, it'll be good to go. That's <laughs> how so he was. Absolutely well, it, uh, stunning. Uh, yeah, and if he can uh, <laughs> get up and eagle the last, he'll shoot 59. A little steep from where I come from. Would that not be good value to get a lesson from a current tour player? Well, I think I'd have to start. Comparatively speaking, I think I'd start up with a, a five-minute lesson. Pins in the right place, left. You can draw it in. It'll have the gut to bounce up. The pin's not too far back. Standing like he's dragged it. Oh, get well, lucky. Come on, stay there. Oh, he's got a chance, got away with it. Definitely a chance. Are we about to see the second ever 59 shot on the European tour? birdies to finish. Back in 29 for a round of 60 with those six closing birdies. What a day. What a round. 10 under par, Robert Rock. On his round and at 13 under par, he will have a chance to maybe get back a bit of unfinished business 10 years ago losing out to Shane Lowry in the Irish Open at County Louth 
Well, without doubt, in the worst of the weather, I mean, he, he had some pretty, well, not substantial, but steady rain. Fantastic day, fantastic round of golf, six birdie finish. He had a look for 59 at 18 with that wonderful eagle attempt. Birdie in the end, special day, Robert. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, delighted. It was um, it was a fun day, actually. I was enjoying playing with Grant. He played really well, actually, and, and that helped. Uh, he made some made quite a lot of birdies early on, and it helped see see that they were possible. And, and then I started putting really good, and, and then when I mean, the finish was... Bit, a bit much really. I mean, I had a really long putt on 17, and then when I was walking to the second shot on 18, I had a little look at what the par was because I kind of forgot and realised it was an eagle for 59. Which your opportunities to do that don't come hardly at all, really. That's my first chance I've ever had to do it. Um, it's disappointing not to, but same 60 is a great score, it's my best score, um, and I played rubbish so far this year, so just delighted to play better. So you weren't really aware of that magical number until 18? No, not completely unaware. I didn't think I'm out. I thought it was, seven, I thought it was eight, eight under, maybe nine under. I wasn't really adding it up because because uh, some of the long putts were going in, they felt like bonuses and it didn't really feel like an actual birdie. It was just a bit of fun. So. When you're in that moment though, when the birdies are dropping and clearly you're putting together a very special round, how do you try not think about it to that extent and just re it sounds a cliche but really stay in the moment that's really difficult because um, I felt myself tighten up a little bit on the par 3 on, and I didn't hit a great shot there probably swung at that a little too softly and steered it a bit and then similar to the second shot on 17 and faced with a lot a sort of 60 foot pot with about three different breaks in it and I got over it and thought it would be very easy just to try and lag this up and I thought just hit it and I hit it flush out in the middle of the putter and it kind of hugged the ground all the way there and once it was sort of 20 foot away I thought that's it so that's the thing you've got to try and do is to let yourself play good when you are and I've not been great at that but that was a nice moment to actually ease off and just hit the putt and it was a tough putt actually I mean I've been delighted with the two putt but went in. No complaints after that. No, right? no, we we know you've been doing some great work with Matt Wallace as well yeah. and getting a lot of sort of plaudits from the coaching side of things. Mm -hmm. But nice to find this form and actually deliver on the European Tour, big event Rolex Series, and now yeah. in, in the position you're in, mm -hmm. have a great opportunity for Sunday. It is it's a good opportunity. It's a good opportunity to get my season back on track, to try and qualify for the Open, and to maybe have a chance to win a tournament again, which would be lovely because it's been a long while. Um, but working with Matt and the other players definitely helps. Um, and I've got to give Liam James and Ben Barham a bit of credit. They've helped me out a lot because we've now got quite a few players that we're working with and to do that on my own is pretty much impossible. So they've done a great job. Terrific stuff today. That was uh, fun to watch. Thank you. We'll see fun you to tomorrow. Be. Thank you very Thanks, much. Rob. Thanks, Rob. Cheers. Thank you. If you want to watch another European Tour video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here.